So you all heard the startups, but not just a startup. When you go to a job interview, when you go on dating, you need storytelling. You need to connect a good story with whatever you present here. That is super essential. Thank you for the remarks and feedback. Moving on, our next uh, presenter, uh, Sergey from My ID, is going to be online presenting. So we're supposed to see him right about now. Am I, is he, you see him? OK, so look at the screen. Uh, Sergey, floor is yours, three minutes. Good luck. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. So let's start with my ID presentation. Um, Digital transformation is a synonym of let's do business online, right? And business online is equal with the challenge to find with whom you're doing the business. And most of the companies solve this issue by investing in old solutions and repeating same mistakes, like for example, building online complex form and asking client to fill it over and over or forcing him to make a photocopy of some paper document and then use expensive services or even hire a specialist which will just validate this image. This is wrong and all lead to problems such as time, privacy, high cost and low conversion rates. Solution which we bring today is the centralized self serving identity platform by MyID, which will allow to users to save a lot of time and frustration during their onboarding process and interaction with the business. And for the business, we provide a solution, a KYC solution, efficient one, and by connecting multiple companies from different industries in one ecosystem, we will allow them to monetize the client data in a legal way. Well, how we achieve that? We develop a digital wallet where clients will store verifiable data inside, such as, for example, client or bank ID, reusable KYC profile, or even a club membership, uh, and use this data to prove their identity. For the business, we develop tools and services which will allow them to identify and check efficiently the, and pass efficiently the KYC process to their clients, and uh, the best way even to issue verifiable data to them. And not at least, we expect to offer a white label solution for the governments and other companies which plan to use the full power of verifiable credentials in their business process. In Moldova, we consider that we have uh, indirect competition, but in the rest of the world, there are a couple. And the key point the difference between them and us is that we focus decentralized, which reduce the cost, and as well, we um, build the specific business use cases where integration will be just plug and play. Uh, your opinion market size is estimated at 85 billion uh, and with a service accessible market is 3 billion and which we will target in the beginning at half percentage of that. This is our, this is couple of our current partners and clients which generated around 180,000 of process profiles. Uh, our team is passionate and has a huge experience in building custom solutions in fintech and B blockchain sector. Uh, for more details, please check our website and I will be very happy to, um, to chat with you and to show how easy it can be onboarding and uh, process and data sharing with our solution. Thank you. Thank you, Sergey. Please, uh, investors. Um, thank you for your presentation. Uh, my first advice would be uh, to elaborate more about your business model. So uh, who are your customers and how you're going to earn your revenues. And so I think this, like the main piece of advice would be from my side. Okay, thank you. The business models related to it was for the SaaS for the business and B2B, I mean, but B2C is a freemium model, which I mentioned it in the, uh, uh, on the top. I meant more, you know, about what's like uh, the unit cost, uh, what's your mm -hmm. price model, so something like this. Numbers. Okay. Numbers. Okay. okay. Thank you for the presentation. I would say um, I'd like to hear a little bit more about the cost of the problem or the size of the problem. What exactly is the pain and how does that translate for the businesses that you're going to be selling to. 
Um, and on a couple of the slides, I would take out some of the text because um, I know it's online, it's very, very difficult to, to not read your slides. But um, we can see you and hear you, and we can also see the slides and fill in, fill in the blanks there. So we'd rather hear more mm -hmm. coming out of you and let our brains go at the same time. But definitely size the problem a little better. Okay, so this I, I understood. Okay, I will focus on that. The problem is that, you know, traditional KYC make photos, uh, fill the forms. This is the problem. Why we should not use the verifiable data, which is now growing, and interaction, which already client has with the business existing one, so the business can issue some data about him in the wallet. So. What, what I'm referring to is more about how do your customers express the pain of the current solutions. In other words, does it cost them time? Does it cost them money? And what exactly are those costs? Because that'll quantify the market so, for me. Again, numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks, Razvan here from Startup Wise, guys. Uh, fully agree with what our previous uh, juries have said. Um, again, metrics on the problem, the numbers. Put numbers on that. Um, be careful when you pitch online. You need to convey maybe even more energy um, and get our attention. So try to, your position, switch it, be, be standing, find, find the, right, uh, the right way to do it. Uh, that's uh, one tip from my so, end. Um, you had a bit too much text on the slide there. You also, when you explained the, the business model, uh, you didn't go too much in, in depth there. At some point, uh, you had a, a slide which was, say, which was saying B2G. Uh, that one, uh, you will get picked on that because people will want to know when is that happening and what's uh, your primary business model. So on which one you will focus in the first year, let's say, of your business. I think that's critical. So be, be able to differentiate in between your models and which one is the primary one and which one is the money maker in the first year, year and a half of your business. Last... I put them a Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, on the traction slide, you didn't even stay for five seconds on it. Why? If you don't stay five seconds on one slide, don't even bother having it there. Okay, yeah, I that, understood. That. Thank you. Okay, round of applause here, we're done. Thank you so much. <laughs> Word of advice to startups. You should have yourself a mindset understanding that when you talk to investors, you need to speak money language. They are not impressed with slides or nice photos and a lot of words. They want to hear the money. So since this is the second presentation, this remarks come startups. When you present a problem, it must end with money on the table. The solution that you're offering is taking all this money into the pocket, not of yours, of the investors. Just remember again, it's about talking money, finance, numbers. This is what investors want to hear, and it is not easy to do that. I'm telling you, it's not just a way of practice. It's actually understanding your business to be able to do that. So you end a problem with money, your solution first is taking the money from the table. Thank you. Okay.